to nines at Friday night footy and what a match and what a finish it was and someone who had uh, a pretty good position from uh, the top of the stadium I can say Cameron Munster joins us now you're in the coaches box alongside Craig Bellamy for yeah, that entire on? match yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> what was it like can you give us an insight into what happened uh, look um, careful yeah <laughs> it's very careful I can't give away too much but um he pretty much makes us sign contracts to uh, be able to not be able to give anything away. But, um, yeah, obviously he needs a new pacemaker bellyache. There was a lot of times he had his heart in his mouth. And, uh, yeah, the boys uh, dug deep, but uh, they made it hard on them, so that's for sure. What, what about yourself? You're sitting there watching 17 of your teammates that you work so hard with in pre-season, and a lot of it is on defence, and they keep turning up time after time. They were all down with cramp. How did it make you feel as a, as a teammate that they were going through that and continually turning up for each other? Yeah, I was a lot of I was a lot very proud of the boys. Um, obviously, they dug deep there, like you spoke about, Bill. Um, they made it hard on themselves. I think they only completed at 68%. So um, against Penrith, that's not obviously going to win your games. But tonight, we were lucky enough. They they were obviously in a similar position as well. So I thought the boys dug really deep. Um, obviously, the stats won't lie, and um, yeah, you can just see there right now. But um, yeah, boys really dug deep, and we've been working really hard on our defence because last year wasn't good enough. How good was it to see that bloke back, Ryan Pappenhausen, back on the field, smiling and injecting himself into the game? Yeah, it was outstanding. He obviously played those first trials, um, very confident. Um, obviously at training and in the games and on the trials, he just come out and just played, pretty much blitzed them. So um, obviously you can see the head tape there, mate. Yeah, he's a very pretty <laughs> looking guy. So unfortunately he's, he's losing his looks, mate. So um, yeah, I might be the hottest bloke in the team soon. <laughs> they got a bit to go before you get that Yeah, team, that's mate. true. That's very true. Uh, now, what about yourself, your injury? What have you actually done and, and when can we expect you to return? Oh, uh, yeah, look, it's um, pretty frustrating. Um, I reckon I've had a really good pre-season, uh, been training really well. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, about two, three weeks ago, did my groin. Um, and then I've come back to train in Fiji and then slipped in the shower, which was a true story. I didn't do my car calf, but definitely did my groin. Um, and then, yeah, I just haven't been able to come back from it. So um, it's pretty frustrating. Um, the, obviously, the physios haven't really given me a time frame. Uh, like today, I was pretty sore, but yesterday I was really good. So, um, yeah, it's just one of those days at the moment. And, um, yeah, hopefully I can come back quicker than... Too much soap or shampoo? <laughs> what, what are we talking? Uh, too much heads and shoulders. It was up more... <laughs> okay, okay. What can you actually do at the moment training-wise? Are you able to do anything or are you quite restricted? Oh, I'm pretty restricted. I, I pretty much only use the band at the moment. Um, I can't really get out of a jog. So, um, yeah, it feels um, it's pretty frustrating, like I just spoke about. Uh, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, did scans and everything, and we can't really find out what the problem is. So... Uh, maybe it's just old hips, to be honest. I, I use them a fair bit, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Bill, I don't have a question after that. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you, you, see, no, I mean, in the game, I was, like, stepping and moving around, so... OK. Yeah. OK. All right. All right. Well, Craig Bellamy, well, yeah. what will his approach be after this one? Because it, it was a real character-building performance. Uh, will he focus on the improvements, or will he take a lot out of the, the continually turning up on your try line? I think you'll obviously talk about this being, being obviously consistent in defence. Um, we've spoken about it last year. Obviously, great teams um, win games in defence, and um, last year was Penrith and the Broncos, and we weren't up to scratch in their defence. And um, to give obviously Penrith a run like that tonight defensively, and not obviously score any points against us, um, he'll be very proud of that. But at the same time. Um, we've got a couple of little things we need to work on because at the moment uh, we can't keep doing that each and every week. By the end of the year, we're going to be pretty gassed. So hopefully the boys can go next week and uh, do something similar. Well, we wish you all the best in your own recovery and um, we'll let you get back to your team. No, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, James, back to you. <laughs> this year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get that on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that, and of course, my favourite, Freddie and the Young. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm, subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.